Snooter coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, and I'm doing something a little weird today. Um, well, first off, we've got this sad, super hot noodles, spicy and sour glass noodles. Check it out. I got a, a ninja. And then we've got a little sad, broken heart. And this trippy, sad. It's just so sad. So this goes for five minutes. It's a big pot of stuff. So we got all of this it goes into the pot. 900 mils of water. That's a lot. I don't usually see varieties that require that much liquid, but today is a day where we see that. And what's weird today is I'm using an ingredient that I don't usually use. So we've got all these little, well, not a bunch of them. There's one on my route where I walk, but uh, we have these uh, neighborhood pantries. So if somebody has extra food, they can drop off some extra food in there. And if they need some food, they can get some food. And I've donated noodles in there a few times and you know, it's just kind of a nice little community thing. Well, oh, start. And uh, yesterday I was walking by with my daughter and lo and behold, there was a canned ham. And I've never, I've always kind of laughed at the canned ham. It's just like, how good can that be? But I thought, what the heck? It's pork, right? So it's got to be like, something that could go in ramen. So today I'm doing three reviews and they will all feature uh, fried ham or fried canned ham. And uh, yeah, definitely something totally different from what I usually, uh, what I usually do. And I don't know thought it would be fun. Lately I've found out about certain ingredients that I never really thought about before, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, eggplant and okra, and yeah, it's, been, it's been fun, like learning about these new ingredients and, and just like messing with them. For a lot of people it's like, eggplant, that's new for you? Wow, I've been eating eggplant for years, dude. It's like, well, you know, I haven't, so. Something to check out yeah this is a big spicy hot pot noodle thing and it's going to also include canned ham so yeah sounds like fun to me what's well, been going on I uh, walked around a bit yesterday not a whole heck of a lot. This one's a sour spicy. So the sachets that I put in, one was a spicy chili oil, one was soy sauce, and one was uh, vinegar. It's probably black vinegar that lends the whole sour aspect to it. So I'm kind of, I, I'm really kind of stoked about this hat but I'm kind of bummed about it at the same time because the little clasp in the back I mean this is like a kid's hat I found it at the thrift store yesterday I was all stoked I'm like hey this is a weird hat <laughs> but uh yeah the back of it's all jacked up and it's too small so probably will only wear it for this episode yeah I could, I could make my kids go to school wearing the weird hat, but I don't know, my, my son's autistic, that wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> and my daughter, uh, she's already got a hat. He's already got a hat too. He's got a Spider-Man hat, she's got a Frozen hat, so we're good. Big news right now is <laughs> the Mets have been getting beamed with baseballs, their, their batters. 
19 times so far this season, and we're like 20 games in. So it's basic. And, and there's been a guy. There was a guy who's already been pelted twice. And they're saying that there's something wrong with the baseballs. Like they're like the pitchers are saying like this is horrible because they were using this sticky stuff, and they said, "Oh, that's a forbidden substance. You can't use that." But uh, now it's like the ball is slippery, so it's hard for them to like throw it where they want it. And I don't know. <laughs> I guess they've changed the baseballs. I don't know. But it used to be they'd scuff them up and make it so they were like easier to grip, but they're harder to grip now. I don't know. It's just like... Baseballs aren't that big. Softballs are like that big. Baseballs are like that big. They're, they're pretty small. So, plus now the pitchers are throwing it. 93 to 99 miles an hour quite often so if you get hit one of those you got like 0.3 seconds time to like a whoa you know cool 20 seconds left and then we will have noodle if you're into noodle i'm into noodle i like the noodle it said three to five minutes i'm doing five minutes just to be Satan. This is a big angry cauldron of spicy Chinese stuff. And here we are. Uh, that's more centered. It's tricky with this. Here we are. Let's give this a go. There's the broth. Ah! 900 mils of water, huh? Usually I complain about the strength being too strong. Oh, right here actually it says a thousand. If you put a thousand, it would be even blander. Huh. Huh. There we are. Let's, so let's use this one. Uh, now I'm going to go with my original order of operations when it comes to the bowls today. So let's do that. It's so weird. It's like, why is it? Look at that. We have to try again, says Miles. He may be right. There's a, a ladle. La, 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 ladle. We'll get some noodles out of here. It's glass noodle. I think it's basically mung bean thread. Just an animal guy. Miles just said, I know you're just an animal guy, but I hate handling these noodles. It's really not fun. It's a mess. Shush out there, guys. I'm just trying to deal with horrible noodles. One. Yeah, this stuff is a pain. Kind of mushy. Kind of odd consistency. If you like put all of this in a single bowl, you wouldn't be able to really see it very well. 
Here we are. Broth, broth, broth. It is sour, a little bit spicy, but it needs something. Definitely does not need extra broth. Plenty of broth going on here. It's good to me. Okay, and now we're going to add some of this. So this is fried canned ham. I tried it out and it's pretty darn good to be honest. I, I think it's a decent flavorful product. Some spring onion. I was going to use something else with it too, but Couple peppers. Mm. Pepper. Pepper. Um, we'll add some more specimy, smashimy. Some more seeds. Um, and some crushed red pepper, I think, and we can call that a day. This is going to be fun to take over to the, the thing over there to take pictures of. Holy cow. Whoa there, Chachi. Let's see. Come on. Do I have to do this? I do. There we go. Come on. There you go. That's sealed. Peppa, that's the old one, two, da, 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 da. All right, enough silliness. Rotato, do your serious job. The next one we're gonna see will be this one. This is a Kinko Foods uh, miso ramen. This came out of an Umai crate. You go to japancrate.com, use the coupon code the ramen raider, you can get one with a discount. So, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.